I don't wanna hold you if you wanna go And I'm not gonna make you feel love if you don't I would rather learn what it feels like to burn Than feel nothing at all Oh, I used to treat you sweetly I would pull you to my chest As you cried about the ocean Slipping quickly through your hands You were searching for one grain of sand Along an endless beach As I was building you a castle That you just refused to see What do I say? What do I do to show you Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I am standing in a new location today. I am filming my first ever video in my brand new closet. It isn't fully finished yet. There's probably a couple more weeks of craziness that's going to be going on in here, but I wanted to set up like the wall behind me. That way I could film my first fashion video because it's been a while since I've done a try on haul and I know you guys really enjoy those. So I wanted to show you guys some of the items that I recently picked up. I teamed up with White Fox Boutique to film today's video. So all of the beautiful clothing right behind me is from White Fox. As I did mention previously, of course when my closet is fully finished I will be doing an updated closet tour. This one is even better than my last in my opinion. Obviously it's not as big but it's really really beautiful my dad has done such an amazing job I'm so lucky to have him and have him help me build this whole thing but if you guys want to see what I recently picked up then please keep watching so some of you guys may be wondering where I am in the world because I'm wearing a tank top um, I am still in New Jersey and it is freezing outside like 30 degrees outside but upstairs it is so warm in my house because I always have the heat on. I have it on like 73 right now and now that I'm up here filming I was sweating. I did have this black fluffy jacket on which I'll show you guys in a minute but I figured you know what let me be comfortable because we got a lot of things here and I don't want to be sweating halfway through the video. So the first thing that I picked up was this cute vegan leather backpack. So cool because honestly when I got it in the mail I wanted to recheck that it was vegan leather because the quality of this is really really nice. It came in a couple other colors. I was torn but I really love the pink. I feel like I can get the most use out of it. I haven't had a backpack since school and now that all these like mini purses, mini backpacks are in, I just wanted to pick one up for myself and we'll see how much use I do get out of it. So I did see one in like a white snakeskin print as well which you guys should go check out which is amazing. I might have to go pick up that one because once I went back on the website to see this one and I saw the other one I was like oh I should have got that one too but um yeah, super cute, and again, the quality is really nice for this, and no animals were harmed while making it, which makes it even better. So before I start showing you guys everything, um, I know it is winter here in Jersey. Um, in Australia, it is summertime, so a lot of their new in items are more summery, but I do have a couple of vacations planned, so that's why I kind of mix and match. I got a little bit of both, so don't think I'm crazy. And also, in the winter time, I do still wear tank tops and crop tops and all of that stuff because... I am always hot everywhere I go so of course if I'm wearing a shirt like this or like this I'll either have like a sweatshirt, a sweater and then a jacket or a scarf or something like that so don't think I'm walking around outside without a jacket or anything like that. I picked this up because I thought it was so adorable and like really sporty but cute. I envisioned myself wearing this with like a pair of black high-waisted sweats like a sweatshirt and um, maybe like a black beanie or something like that but I love how it says white box on the sleeves. And of course the stars on it were really cute as well. Also, by the way, I'll give you guys a zoom in. My earrings and my shirt and my pants are all from White Fox as well. So next up we have this one sleeve top. It is also a crop top. But if you guys have been following me, you guys know that like majority of my hauls are always going to be crop tops. It's just... I live for high waist everything because I'm super short so it makes me look a little bit taller or so I think and of course we love a good crop top but again I'm so into sweatpants and comfy clothes so if you can find a way to mix the comfiness with also cute styled clothes as well that's goals in my opinion so when I saw the shirt again I envisioned myself wearing a pair of like high waisted sweats or something like that and then this top and it makes it just a little bit like fancier and cute so as I mentioned I did pick up some swim items um, their bathing suits were so cute I couldn't resist myself and as I did mention I do have a couple vacations planned so it's never too early to start buying. Honestly I feel like once February comes everything's going to be spring stuff anyway but I picked this up. It's a cute cover up to just throw over a bathing suit so I loved like the crisscross top. You can make it a little tighter so it doesn't show as much cleavage or you can keep it super super loose as well but I thought this would be perfect to just throw on over a bathing suit with a pair of sandals to go to the pool. So next up 
crop top. This one I just genuinely couldn't resist. I probably will not be wearing this again until vacation for this one. I don't think I could throw a sweater over this and make it um, wintery, but it's off the shoulders and it has like this little tie in the front. And just these style shirts I have been obsessed with. I have something similar to this in like almost every color. I just love anything off the shoulder. It's just my favorite. So next up I have a snakeskin bodysuit. It is the same one as I'm wearing right here, but of course in a different print. Animal prints, including snakeskin, are so in right now, which is so funny because if you were to ask me this like a year or two ago, I would have been like, that's never going to come back. Like it's so jersey, all of the snakeskin, animal print and all that. It's like, how can something one year be like atrocious and then the next year it's like in style? I'm never going to understand fashion. It's like a big vicious cycle that just keeps going over and over and over again. So sometimes it's cool, sometimes it's not. But this I really love and I love the color of it. This would look really cute with the same black jeans that I'm wearing and either like a black jacket, a black sweater. Um, you can even do like a denim jacket, but something like this is definitely an example of something I would wear in the winter time. That's just me and my personal preference. I know some people who are cold all the time, but I'm literally the complete opposite. As soon as I saw this bodysuit, I fell in love. I have a soft spot in my heart for polka dots. Like, it's just so girly and cute. I love this fabric. It's a nude bodysuit with a sheer polka dot layer on top of it. What, baby man? What, baby man? What? dirty chin he just yells and yells and yells so as I mentioned when I saw that fabric I died and then when I found out it came in a dress ugh, I died even more so it's a beautiful long dress and it does come with little shorts that are skin color so I like this because normally a dress like this would come with like the underwear type bottoms which I hey get off get off no he's gonna ruin it with his claws I'm gonna have to move this over which I've worn outfits that were like pretty sheer um, and then you wear like the underwear and it's not like you could full-on see your butt completely but this is so beautiful and I am not sure where I'm gonna wear it yet I'm gonna save it for a special day but definitely a nice vacation outfit so this next bodysuit my mom didn't even hang it up um, my assistant and my mom were here all day helping me like set up my closet for today's video actually and my mom didn't hang a couple things because she thought it was lingerie and I looked through the box and I'm like, no mom, that's not lingerie. Um, it is a bodysuit. I could see why she would think it was lingerie. Maybe you can double as lingerie, but it's a bodysuit. So you could wear it like I was thinking black high-waisted jeans with a bodysuit like this and some sort of jacket. Like even that black fringe jacket that I just wore in one of my latest posts I think would be really cute. So I did get this in two colors because... Anything that's like embellished, especially this time of year, I'm obsessed with. I actually do have a holiday party I'm going to this weekend, so I did buy this in black as well. Maybe I'm going to wear that, actually, because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to wear, but I think this would be really cute for like a holiday party. Again, maybe like a black blazer over it, or I could even wear like my suit, my suit jacket, my suit pants, and then this in black. I think that would be really cute, so... I think I just figured out what I'm going to wear for the weekend, which is nice, but I love this. Next up, I have a pair of nude cargo pants. I would pair this with that white one-sleeved crop top, so of course I'm going to do the try-on where you guys are probably seeing it right at this moment, which I think it will look really cute with that crop top, but I think these with like a pair of um, booties and just like really cute jewelry would make these really nice. I love these types of pants. I have so many in so many colors. I think they're just really flattering and I like the high-waisted fit. You can always throw on a belt if they're a little bit too big around the waist or anything like that. So the next thing is a big comfy sweatshirt. First of all, the color, like this stone color is everything. And I love the way they branded these uh, sweatshirts. Honestly, if it was plain, I probably would be like, eh, I don't really need it, but I, I just love how it says WHTFX for White Fox, like right down the center. It just makes it a little bit different, but the inside of this is so ridiculously soft. As soon as this video is over and I shower, I'm probably going to throw this thing on because, again, it's so soft. What size did I get this in? Okay, I got this in a small medium. I always like to get my sweatshirts a little bit bigger. That way they're super comfy, cozy. If I'm ever traveling, I always tend to grab or gravitate towards sweatpants, sweatshirts, um, anything comfy. So next I have this pink t-shirt bodysuit, which... When I saw this, I thought this was such a good idea because I am the type of person that tucks in everything. Some people get annoyed at me, but like I don't know why I just like need to tuck things in. So 
I wear t-shirts all the time and when I saw a t-shirt bodysuit, I don't I'm like, I don't know if I have anything like this. I don't think I do off the top of my head, but it's cute because if I want to wear this with sweatpants or with jeans, it's going to stay tucked in and nice, like just how I like it. This next dress, again, I know it's very spring, summery, but as soon as I saw it, I just loved it. I love the color. Sometimes I'll buy something because I just am in love with the fabric, but um, this was one of those pieces. I love how girly this dress is. I love the little ruffles on the sleeves. Um, I'd probably wear this with like a pair of sneakers and maybe like a denim jacket. Obviously when the weather's a little warmer or if I am on vacation, but I just love this color, especially with a nice tan. So this next sweater I've worn probably four times already since I've gotten it, only a couple of days ago. I had to go find it downstairs because it is literally the comfiest sweater I've ever owned, plus the color is my kind of color. It's like this light baby bluish gray and cream knit sweater. So comfy. This is perfect to throw on over anything. To be honest, I've been just wearing like sweats around the house, like not even leaving the house, so it hasn't been like the cutest of outfits, but it's really, really warm, and the material is really thick and luxurious. Out of the entire haul, this is one of my top favorite things, and um, I actually have an outfit in mind that I want to style this with, but I'm going to wait because I really want to start up my blog again. I know I did like two posts about a month ago, but I do plan on posting more. And let me know if you guys want me to start posting on the Fashion Bible again. Um, what I was doing for a while, if you guys check out the account, is I was just doing like mirror selfies and I kind of had like a whole theme going. But it's really, it's hard to keep up with a theme like that. So I was thinking maybe I can do more blog posts and post some of that on my fashion page on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think about that. So next I have a cute pair of mom jeans. It was my fault and I ordered these in one size too small. Um, the jeans that I'm wearing now are an extra small, they're really stretchy and they fit honestly perfectly, but these have no stretch them whatsoever so I would probably need a small in them. But I love these and I'm really upset that they didn't fit but I'm going to ask to get them in the proper size because these with like a nice sweater, even the sweater that I just showed, it's like the perfect blue to match. And just like a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers, so comfy and cute and something I'd throw on if I were going to like the grocery store or going to the mall or something like that. So this next dress, I also couldn't resist. It's like a beautiful baby blue color off the shoulders and again, it just has like that really 90s girly look to it and I just love the color. Next I have these high-waisted stretch leggings that are really, really comfortable. I would probably pair this with, I have like a black bodysuit that I picked up. I think I get the most use out of a black bodysuit. So I would pair this with something like this and maybe a nice scarf and a black, that black bodysuit as well. So next up I have this one sleeved bodysuit. This isn't the one I was talking about. I did get this one and then I also got a regular one. But I love like the whole one shoulder thing. A good black bodysuit is a staple in every wardrobe. I am obsessed and I wear them the most. I'd wear this with jeans, with sweatpants, really anything. So here is the bodysuit that I showed you in nude. I honestly holding it here and watching it sparkle, I think I am going to be wearing this for the holiday party. I think it's really, really pretty and Although it is sheer for the bodysuit, the cut part is not sheer, so you don't have to worry about any issues on that end. So here I have a just a regular basic black bodysuit. The material, it's like double lined, so the material is really thick and nice. And I mean, there's not much to say other than everyone needs a black bodysuit in their wardrobe. Next I have these black leathery type of pants. They're not leather, I don't really know what I would even describe this material as. It's very, very stretchy and it has like a biker look to it. I love how the front is folded down and it has the zippers in the front. It's, they're really different. I don't have any pants that are anything like this and I love black bottoms. It's just like my go-to. I tend to try and step outside of my comfort zone and try new things sometimes, but if I'm just like going out with my friends or going out with my mom and I don't want to wear anything like too, too crazy, I always tend to go for like black jeans or black bottoms. So the last two items I have are more wintry for those of you guys that are looking for some winter clothes. This is a cropped sweatshirt, black, tan, and white. I don't know, I just really loved it. I'd probably pair this with like a pair of, I could even wear like the black jeans I'm wearing, which would be really cute with a pair of like black booties. You can wear black sweats with it. It just is really comfy and cute at the same time, so I loved this guy. And then last but not least, um, 
I have this jacket, which I am obsessed with. There's pockets in the front. I love this material. It's super warm. I have a similar jacket in another color that I wore all winter long last year. So when I saw this one in black, I knew I have been looking for something like this for so long. So that is it for my huge White Fox haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more of these, please let me know. I'm constantly shopping and trying out new things, and I would love to do more videos like this if you guys want to see them. So please, please let me know if you do. Make sure to check out my Instagram right after you finish watching this video because we are having a huge giveaway, and the prize is worth over $10,000. It's literally the most insane giveaway ever, and I'm so, so excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.